My name is Ulrik, I'm an unprofessional hand dancer. Um, I'm from Norway and I've been training for about five and a half years. I've been coaching people in hand balance online for about uh, two years now. And I'm a personal trainer, so I also do hands-on training for hand balance. And now I'm, we have just started to do workshops as well. I'm Tom, I run the Bodyweight Warrior YouTube channel. I've been doing calisthenics bodyweight training for the past five years. I've been trying to do some hand balancing for the past four years successfully, not so successfully. And I've also been coaching people online and also a little bit in person for the last two years specifically of calisthenics bodyweight mobility hands and stuff. And today we decided to join forces and we were hosting a workshop specifically around handstand, building the base of your handstand, building a press and body weight skills like planche, front lever, one arm chin up and handstand push up. And we were crazy and we combined them in one workshop. Because suffer. Because suffer, yeah. So we have had two days with five hours of training per day. Half uh, handstand specific and half body weight uh, skills and strength training. Uh, because both is kind of related to each other, it's body weight stuff and uh, uh, it's really popular now to do gymnastics strength training and handstands is also uh, getting more and more popular. Uh, they have some common ground, you're using body weight. Yeah, people are, generally people are interested in one or the other, people might come into this interested in gymnastics strength training, just building muscle and then they're like, oh cool, a handstand, I'll try that. Mm -hmm. Other people are like, I just want to do the handstand, but the other stuff kind of comes into it as well. Um, and I think also it's personally how I train, you're more on the handstand pure side of things, you're training handstands a lot and then you supplement that with one or two days a week where you're doing body weight sort of conditioning just to balance out your shoulders and for me I'm more on the trying to be strong side of things and then where I can I want to learn how to do the handstand. I've, I've coached with Ulrich, I've done some of his handstand course um, into developing the one arm so you know it's, it's both how we train and it's cool to be able to teach it like go into detail with people who are interested in both. Now we kind of presented it to the people and also how, how, to, how to train it, not just it exists, but how to uh, make it work, uh, how to regress or progress different drills or variations, now to uh, program it for, for their own uh, training later on. And uh, it's a good combination actually. Mm. And now people can choose if they want to spend more time doing uh, hand on stuff or more time to like do the badass strength stuff. that it takes time, a lot of time, a lot of suffer. Whatever, whatever you're doing, it takes time. Yeah. And Come uh, back in three years and then mm. you might have something. And uh, we've been through the technique, the foundation of hands on how to think of it, the concepts, um, which is basically a lot of shoulder, 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 shoulder. If you're collapsing in handstand, it's probably because your shoulder is not in the correct position. Yeah. And we've been drilling that in different uh, relevant um, uh, positions uh, to learn the balance as well. Also, we've been doing the press drills, still shoulders. Mm. Yeah, I think as well that feeds into the upper body because the upper body we've gone through front lever, planche, one arm chin up and handstand push up, but all of those start at the shoulder and how well your shoulder complex and scapula moves. Mm. So kind of built from the ground up and then yeah, all the progressions and then finally how you apply it, programming, how many times a week you should train, how much you should put into it, mm. and trying to give them some recommendations. So like people aren't gonna make night and day difference. You might make some huge realizations, especially if handstand in the weekend, yeah. when you have somebody looking at you. Mm. But it's about going away and how well can you apply it now for the next six, 12 weeks. Yes, months. giving them the tools to work on their own later on. So, so they know uh, what to think about, how to correct themselves. Uh, yes, I would say that you should be familiar with uh, handstands. If yeah. you're a total beginner, uh, you won't have the capacity to survive <laughs> our craft. No, I'm just kidding. But um, you need to play, at least play with it on your own. Yeah. Uh, if you're still afraid of falling over, you won't benefit from learning a lot of different drills. Yeah, mm. yeah as long as you can hold a wall handstand for, I think we said 30 seconds-ish was a good starting point. But really, because you're teaching it from the ground up, it will benefit, and, and the same with the body weight skill stuff. Mm. You know, we had people in here who couldn't do push up pull ups, and we were just kind of working on building that as well as thinking about later on for advanced skills. Mm. Uh, think of uh, learning hands and as a three part split. It's a one entrance that's a kick up, a press up, or a, a jump up, 
and then there's the line or shape part, and then there's the balance in itself. Those are three different things and you can practice it uh, individually to get a better feel of each part before you're like connecting it all together to a freestanding handstand. Mobility tip or flexibility tip of the day would be when should you do flexibility work in a session? We talked about this a lot in this workshop because there was a lot of guys who had done a bit too much bench press who had some tight shoulders. So, and they were asking, but then on the opposite end of the spectrum, we had a lot of um, girls who had very flexible shoulders and were able to get into a good handstand. So it was kind of where does flexibility lie in the spectrum? You should always warm up and mobilize what you need for your session. So if we're gonna be training handstands, we wanna make sure we've got great overhead mobility before we jump into our handstands. And then what we need for the session, we make sure we have before we start it, then you start it, and then we're gonna finish up that session with any other flexibility work that we wanna do at the end of it. In terms of next workshops, the best thing to do is to follow either of us on Instagram mm -hmm. um, and we'll be letting all the followers know what we're doing next and where we can find us um, potentially in Europe in 2019. Yeah. And we are planning on expanding to world domination, yeah. but it will take time. We start one country at a time and one continent at a time and then boom. Yes. I'm happy Everyone that. will be doing handstands <laughs> yeah. for breakfast. You shall handstand. <laughs> We want to thank Ardor for filming this event, uh, also providing uh, the prizes for the winners of the competitions we had in Hansons, also providing the clothes I'm wearing every single day. Seriously, mm -hmm. thanks. Definitely the comfiest gear, and uh, obviously a massive thank you to Local Motion for letting us use this space that we have here. Absolutely incredible! It was perfect. We managed to get loads of people, loads of space to do stuff on the floor, mm -hmm. on the ring. So it works out perfectly. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Ulrich. I'm Tom. Um, uh, in, um, <laughs> have been. I should talk about myself, shouldn't I? Okay, yeah. so, I'll start again.